The end of Solomon's reign and the great tax revolt are the next big events in the Bible, and they should be covered in the next set of 10 questions from Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge. Strategic marriages, political alliances, and runaway inflation begin to plague Solomon's kingdom. This part of the Bible gives us a peek at what must have been an economy that was hitting the skids with rampant inflation and cheap money everywhere. All of this, plus Solomon's entanglements with foreign wives and their gods, spells doom for the kingdom. Now, the next set of 10 multiple choice questions should focus on some of these issues, and it is my job to answer all of them correctly. Just like always, all of the questions come with four answer choices and a reference from the Bible. Okay, I'm ready to test my Bible knowledge, and I'll start with number 391. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, gave his daughter, Solomon's wife, as a present, A, 420 talents of gold, B, a crypt in the Great Pyramid, C, a burned and slaughtered city, or D, a tapestried houseboat on the River Nile. Well, some of those sound really nice, and we can eliminate some of these, although I think I know what the answer is. I, I think it's a city. I wasn't sure about the burned and slaughtered part, but I think that C is the correct answer. D doesn't, it's kind of nice, but it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. A, 420 talents of gold. I think we can eliminate that and a crypt in the Great Pyramid, that's kind of funny too, but we can get rid of that one. So for 391, I'm going to go for answer C. 392. When the Queen of Sheba visited King Solomon, A. She was overawed by him. B. He was overawed by her. C. She became infatuated with him. Or D. He became infatuated with her. Okay, this is a pretty good question. I remember that she did come to visit and she brought a whole lot of stuff with her. So for this, I am going to go with answer A, I think. I think that's the correct one. She was overawed by him. I remember he answered all of her questions. I think that she was probably amazed by him. So I'm going to go with A for 392. 393. King Solomon possessed A. 140 chariots, B. 1400 chariots, C. 14,000 chariots, or D. 140,000 chariots. Here again, the author's favorite type of question. Family trees, or amounts of things, or people's ages. I think that we can start eliminating some of these. I'm going to go for A and eliminate it and D and eliminate that because usually it's not the extremes of the multiple choices. So we're left with B or C, 1,400 chariots or 14,000 chariots. And I think for this one, I'm going to go with B, 1,400 chariots, and we'll just have to see if that was the correct answer. 393 B, 1,400 chariots. 394, for the same amount of money, needed to import a chariot from Egypt in King Solomon's time, one could import A, half a horse, B, one horse, C, four horses, or D, 20 horses. I'm going to eliminate D, 20 horses. That seems like way too many. And I'm also going to eliminate A, half a horse. That seems too small. It'll be between B and C, one horse or four horses. I'm going to go with C, four horses, and we'll have to find out what the right answer is. So for 394, I'm going for C. 395. King Solomon had A, seven wives and three concubines, B, 70 wives and 30 concubines, C, 700 wives and 300 concubines, or D, 7,000 wives and 3,000 concubines. Here is the third question in a row where you have to pick an amount. I'm going to stick with my strategy here. I'm going to eliminate A and D, the smallest and the largest amount, and I'm going to pick from B or C. I picked C last time. I picked B the time before that. This time, I'm going to stick with C, and we'll go with 700 wives and 300 concubines. 
I remember that King David had a large amount of concubines also. It may not have been that out of the ordinary for a king to have all these wives and all these concubines. With that in mind, C will be the answer that I stick with for 395. 396. Milcom was a A, God, B, river, C, sedative, or D, disease. Okay, there are some clever answers there, but I know for sure that Milcom was definitely A, a God. 397. Solomon reigned over all Israel, A, 40 years, as had David, B, 40 years unlike David, C, less than 40 years like David, or D, more than 40 years unlike David. I can remember that David, I believe, ruled 40 years. I'm going to pick A, 40 years, as had David for my answer for 397. 398. Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, who succeeded to his throne, said, quote, My father also chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions, unquote, in addressing the A, Israelites, B, Amorites, C, Hittites, or D, Jebusites. And I believe the answer here is A, Israelites. I can remember that this was the beginning of the split, the division of the kingdom into the two halves. I remember reading this quote from Rehoboam, and it was regarding the taxes, I believe, that he was going to levy on the people. For 398, my answer is A, Israelites. 399. The Lord allowed Rehoboam to retain control over only a small portion of all Israel because of A, his harshness, B, Solomon's apostasy, C, David's killings, or D, Saul's suicide. Wow, I don't remember the answer to this one at all. I think that we can eliminate D, Saul's suicide, and I think that C, David's killings, we can get rid of that one. A, his harshness, that seems to make the most sense. B, Solomon's apostasy. I think I'm going to throw that one out also. I'm going to go with A, his harshness for 399. All right, question number 400, the last one, and it's about Jeroboam. It states, Jeroboam, reigning over all the other tribes of Israel, forbade them to go to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem because A, he himself believed in the golden calf, B, he feared they would turn again to Rehoboam, C, he believed Rehoboam had set ambushes for them, or D, the Lord had instructed him to do so. And I remember this part of the Bible here, and I believe the answer here is B, he feared they would turn again to Rehoboam. For number 400, my answer is B. Okay, that ends another set of 10, and I'll go back here to the back of the book, and I'm curious to see how many of these I was able to get right. The answers are waiting for me here in the back of the book, and I'll go to number 391, and the answer in the book is C, and that's what I put down here, C. That question was the one regarding Pharaoh and his daughter, the correct answer, C, burned and slaughtered city. That was the present that he gave to Solomon. 392, I answered A. It was the question when the Queen of Sheba visited King Solomon. I said A, she was overawed by him. And the correct answer is A. 393, I answered B, and that was the first question about the amounts of things. King Solomon possessed B, 1,400 chariots. 394, I answered C, and this was the second question that had to deal with amounts and even had to do a little bit of math here. And the question was about how much a chariot cost if you had to pay for it in horses. I guessed C, four horses, and that was the correct answer, C. 395, the correct answer is C. I put down C. That was the third one that had to deal with the amounts of things, and it was 700 wives and 300 concubines for Solomon. All right, moving on to 396. Correct answer is A, and that's what I marked here was A. It was the question about Milcom. I selected A that he was a god, and that was the correct answer. 397. I picked answer A. The question was Solomon reigned over all Israel. The answer for me was 40 years as had David, which was letter A, and that is the correct answer, A. 398. I picked letter A for my answer. This question was the question about Rehoboam and that, quote, he said it while he was addressing the Israelites, 
A, and that is the correct answer. Okay, 399, the correct answer is B, and I marked A. That question was the one regarding why the Lord allowed Rehoboam to retain control over only a small portion of Israel. I said that it was A because of his harshness, but the correct answer was B because of Solomon's apostasy. So for 399, the correct answer there is B. 400, the last one. It was the question about Jeroboam, and it stated Jeroboam reigning over all the other tribes of Israel, forbade them to go to the house of the Lord in Jerusalem because, I put B, he feared they would turn again to Rehoboam. That was, in fact, the correct answer, B. All right, out of that group of 10, which was pretty challenging, I was able to get nine of them correct, so that's not too bad. That's 90%, and I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think this part of the Bible is pretty interesting. It has a lot to do with finances, taxation. I think a lot of it can be applied to life in the 21st century. Well, with the next set of 10 questions, we'll learn more about the divided kingdom. Some of these kings are very evil while others try to get the people back on the right path. And there are some very famous stories just ahead.